Book Trap Pass. We're back again, one more time. Um, I got a special video I'm gonna do this week. Uh, before I even get started, though, I wanna just shout out the brand new Situation Lounge Studios that we're taping and broadcasting from right now, right here for the Comic Book Trap House. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is a nice little setup that we got going on right here, and this is where we're gonna be making all these situations happen from, so it's only right we call it the Situation Lounge. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are right now. Brooklyn, New York, BK, NY. All right, um, this is a big week. Avengers Endgame comes out this Friday, so I thought I'd do a little special video, um, and it stems from a little special digging in the crates that I was doing over the weekend in my dollar bin locations throughout Brooklyn um, I decided to go Avengers heavy so what was really ill was the fact that I was able to dig out a pretty nice selection of all Avengers dollar bin finds this week that um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all right now big up to the movie I hope you got your tickets because I got mine I'll be there bright and early Friday morning, Sheep's Head Bay, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, so let's go ahead and see some of the Avengers books that I found in the dollar bin this past weekend. Um, some of them are, you know, slightly key. Some of them are just, you know, cool little finds that I found. For instance, this right here, Avengers Invaders. This is a storyline in which uh, something about the invaders uh, um, in a, coming from an alternate universe and having to prove themselves to the existing Avengers, you know, and fight all kinds of hero adversaries, that type of thing. You know, I found issues number one and two of that. I thought those were pretty tight covers. This was actually apparently a Marvel Dynamite collaboration. I don't know, Dynamite's logo was on the cover there too. I don't really know what they would have to do with that. There might be some Dynamite character crossovers happening in this. But, uh, whatever. I'm definitely going to check it out. Avengers, a good find right there. Let me get a little closer up for y'all real quick in case you didn't see that. Turn it up. All right. Moving on. Ultimate Avengers. Number three. All right. Ultimate Avengers, number three. This is actually the first um, appearance of Mon Monica Chang as Black Widow. Okay. Black Widow has taken on a different persona. And uh, Monica Chang is one of them. This is her first iteration of it. Also, um, Swarm. This is the first Swarm appearing as the Red Wasp. You know what I'm saying? You can see the cover right there. All kind of stuff happening. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, you know how things go sometimes. Anyway, we're back. And not only... <laughs> One action. Ultimate Avengers one and three. Both a bucket piece, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can't go wrong with that. We're gonna continue on. I got a bunch of Avengers. Like I said, this is all dollar finds from the past weekend. Avengers commemorative for the movie that's coming out this Friday. Crazy shit. Um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel right there. Please hit that button in the in the corner. Um, hit us up on Instagram, Comic Book Trap House. Hit us up on the internet, ComicBookTrapHouse.com. We got T-shirts for sale. A lot of good merch. A lot of good stuff coming. You know the Trap Shop. Not fucking around. All right, continuing on with more Avengers. We're gonna take it back a little bit to uh, volume one of the regular series, number 343, right here. Take a look. 
which is the partial team appearance of the Gatherers. Mm. All right, now that the, the Gatherers, they, they're, they're an alternate reality version of the Avengers. You know, who just like survived some destruction of their home world or whatever. And uh, I think of Black Knight's one of Black Knight's new swords debuted in that too, something like that. I don't know, but uh, it's pretty key. One buck. It's mine. Number 346. Next one on the pile right there. It's the first appearance of the Star Force. You know what I'm saying? It's key. One dollar. When you find them, buy them. Moving on. Secret Avengers. Number six. No cover. That's crazy right there. Um, what happened? Something happened in this. This was like, um, this is kind of key to Shang-Chi. Fu Manchu. I think Fu Manchu, who was Shang-Chi's father, uh, debuted one of his new names or something in this issue right here. He came across on a new, on a whole new level. But look out for Fu Manchu, probably, who will definitely be mentioned in the Shang-Chi film coming up that Kevin Feige has already announced for phase whenever of Marvel's MCU. But um, yeah, Secret Avengers number six. OG Fu Manchu is in this. Key. Find it, get it. <laughs> New Avengers. Number four right there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a little close up look at that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Spider Woman. She's been working out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, flying through the air right there. But she's not even the most significant part about this issue right here. The fact that this issue is key is Maria Hill. This is the first appearance of Maria Hill, who you know, the movie people who know her, um, is one of the former directors of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And all that type of stuff. You know Maria Hill. You've seen her in the films. You know her in the books. This is the first appearance of Maria Hill. And I also found this right here, New Avengers, number six, which is the second appearance of Maria Hill. So these can both go together. Not on the rack, because they'll fall. There we go, though. But uh, more Avengers goodness, all for a buck, all over this weekend. Endgame coming out Friday, don't forget. And the last piece of Avengers goodness that I found over the weekend, which is a really good one to have for the final title that I found, is Avengers Finale. Damn. It's a one shot, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. All the kids on there playing games. It's real stuff, man. Um, I've never read this, I don't know too much about it. I don't know, you know, what kind of finale it is, but I know one thing. We're about to see an Avengers finale this coming Friday with the movie. We're about to see an Avengers finale. And a cross into the new Avengers. Mm. All this stuff is pertinent. Man, as a quick little bonus, though, I got a couple of little Thor books that came in this week. Wow. Actually, no, one that came in and one that I found in this same uh, dollar bin dive. I already got this one, but it was good to find a second copy. Thor, number 617. This is actually the first appearance of Kid Loki. Wow. As y'all know, Marvel Disney uh, Plus streaming network that's coming out in November, one of the first series to debut will be the Kid Loki series. So... If you can find this, which you definitely most likely can in your dollar bins, go ahead and grab that. Because I found it twice, randomly, in two different states, in two different time zones for a buck. So you can find it too. And the last one for tonight, right quick, before I leave, is one that came in this week. I didn't do a whole unpackaging thing because, you know, whatever. Thor number 390. This is the first time that Captain America wields Molnir, 
and however you pronounce Thor's hammer. Um, he was worthy enough to grab it and beat the shit out of several people in one punch. Mm -hmm. That panel is iconic. If you crazy. know about it, I actually posted it earlier yeah, in the it's week. Crazy panel. Yeah, definitely dope. As soon as I got it, I posted it. But uh, this is a good one right now. I don't know if something like that might happen in the movie. I don't know what's gonna happen in this movie, man, but I'm looking forward to it. The Avengers will be assembling this Friday, but the comic book trap house is disassembling right now because this video is coming to an end. Please subscribe. Please hit us up on Instagram. Please go to the brand new comicbooktraphouse.com website. Cop a couple t-shirts. Summer's coming, man. You need to look good out there. You need to look different than everybody else wearing whatever they're wearing. And you will when you cop the comic book trap house merch. For now, we up out of here. I wish I had something to open up so I could pull out my trusty knife and cut something tonight, but that's not happening. Probably will on the next one. For now, peace.